Scorpio, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 15th to the 21st of August, 2022. No particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcomes. Oh, there you are. Um, at the end, there'll be an opportunity for a uh, extended read where we'll dive in deeper. Uh, you can watch this for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, uh, North Node, you name it, you can watch it. Uh, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your eighth house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support, the likes, shares, subscribes, comments. It's the easiest way to support the channel. It does wonders for the growth. It's very much appreciated. So thank you very much. And the description box has all the information you need. Links to Vimeo and Patreon for the extended website link for private reads, as well as Instagram link for photos of the spread. The Wheel of Fortune and High Priestess. Lovely. Things are turning for you and you know it. <laughs> Three more. Cross watches, you're more than welcome if I haven't said so already. One more. Okay, Scorpio. The Two of Cups, beautiful. Attraction and bonding, lovely. This could be um, friendship, it could be romantic, it doesn't have to be. Um, it could be a business partnership, it, you know, it doesn't have to be. Uh, uh, romantic, should I say? It could indicate the law of attraction as well. Something we're aware of. Something we're not aware of. Recent past. Advice. Potential outcome. Confidence is the key to success. This kind of feels like a lot of attraction. The Ace of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Six of Wands, Justice and Judgment. Um, if, if you're in any sort of legal battle, there's going to be victory. Justice and Judgment together with the Six of Wands. Um, yeah, fantastic. Uh, the truth always comes out. I kind of feel like the High Priestess is, um, is with you on that one. Um, Six of Cups, the Lovers, and the Magician. Wow. Okay. There's there's a few cards that would suggest soulmates. That you know, that, uh, if you don't like the term soulmates, just a deep, deep connection with another person. You've got the Two of Cups, and then the other three cards are all next to each other. <clears throat> when the Magician comes with either the the Lovers or the Six of Cups, there is no doubt that there's somebody um, that's in your energy field, um, whether they're in your actual life at the moment, is dependent on the law of attraction, which I kind of feel like you you may be working on, but I kind of feel like you're lacking confidence. Um, because there's something that's holding you back. This could be a reluctance to ask for help as well in some scenarios. Um, so let's see. Two of Cups, what we're aware of is the Five of Swords. Uh, the Five of Swords in this deck is it's quite a strange one. It's, um, it's discussion, persuasion. Um, for some of you, if you are um, poker players, be careful of gambling. Um, it doesn't have to be poker, I'm just seeing a poker table here, but it, it could be just online gambling, possibly. Um, be careful, because there could be some sort of disruption in your finances uh, if, if, you, if, you're not, uh, if you're not careful. Um, but that's just a side note. What we're not aware of is the hermit. Okay, slow, seclusion and slow progress. I think you've hit a point in regards to your manifestations, I think you've hit a slow point and I kind of feel like you're questioning your abilities. Your abilities are spot on. I'm, I, I'm more thinking this is astrological weather. You know, we're in a period, you, you can be the best manifester in the world, but at the end of the day, the planets are doing what the planets are doing. And at the moment, we've got Saturn, Pluto, all retrograde. Pluto and uh, Saturn is uh, is conjuncting the moon, so even your manifestations in the moon cycle is it's with the strict um, 
tension and and restriction of Saturn at the moment. So don't panic. I almost feel like just the it, the, the phrase confidence is the key to success was was jumping. In the recent past, we have the Seven of Swords. So there could have been some sort of um, With the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords, there could be some sort of disruption in whatever this Two of Cups is. And again, it could be a relationship, it could be a friendship, it could be your law of attraction, how you're um, doing your manifestations. Your advice is the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles is here for a couple of reasons. It's here to acknowledge that change is coming uh, and um, stroke disrupt, disruption, but I, I'm literally seeing the wind blowing in the weather. Hence why I feel like it's more astrological weather, the position of the planets, the position of the movements, uh, etc. Um, but I'm also kind of getting with that five of swords and the five of pentacles with that poker table and the five of pentacles being a financial loss possibly. So just be careful if there is some sort of online gambling, bingo or whatever. Um, you know, don't, um, don't go all in. Um, and your outcome is strength, which is courage and desire. Um, and strength is also confidence. Um, we've just had the, um, a couple of weeks ago, the new moon in, in Leo, uh, which is this uh, Leo card. Uh, and confidence is the key to success in, in the moonology. And don't let pride get in your way as well. But uh, I'm, I'm focused on the confidence in, is the key to success. And so what, what is confidence? Um, I think some people assume confidence is walking into a room and, you know, assuming that you're better than everybody. Um, it, it's not. It, confidence is walking into that same room and knowing that you don't have to compare yourself to anybody. That's true confidence. Knowing that you are worthy, you are um, um, able to um, to stand your ground with anybody, you know. Um so there's there's this I almost feel like there's maybe a a little bit of a, a fear involved in regards to your um, into your confidence and that could just be with comparing yourself to others. I just want to see where the two of swords is. I'm just looking at the seven minus the five. Okay, the Two of Swords is with the Ten of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Again, it's to get, taking on burdens yourself. I kind of feel like you're not you're not good at asking for help because you're so used to being the one helping. Um, so there's there's obviously been some sort of um, imbalance in your in your life where the give and take aspects of your life have been exactly not balanced um so you're just trying to tend to figure things out on your own sometimes it takes a lot of strength and courage to ask for help we could be fearing asking for help uh, and I, I read something interesting actually the other day about uh, fear uh, how it's um it can stand for two things. It's, it's uh, two different acronyms, so you can uh, choose which one it is. So the first one um, was face everything and rise or forget everything and run. And courage is, is fearing something but still tackling it. So if there's something that's really, really sort of keeping you fearful of what to do next or, or panicking about um, situations. This could be actually worrying about financial situations at the moment. Because let's face it, uh, no, not even, not only just talking about the astrological weather, but the, you know, the crisis that we have in the world. Um, if you're anticipating, everything is energy. Continuously remember that everything is energy. If you're in a situation where you're thinking um, um, you're going to struggle, 
energetically you're telling the universe that you're going to struggle um but i kind of feel like you you've got the ability here to um to almost say wake up make a wish i i said it to a uh, virgo earlier interestingly virgo's here so you might be uh you might have virgo placements or or uh, you might be transiting the sixth house or or you might be virgo transiting the eighth house who knows um but they were kind of like um with these thistles it's making a wish uh, making a wish for change and sometimes that change might need to be from a helping hand from somebody else so don't fear asking for help see where the six of pentacles is So the six of six of pentacles is with the hangman and the king of swords yeah i kind of feel like you need to be there's there's a shadow that you need to work on about asking for help here um it doesn't Don't put, I, I, it's weird because I'm kind of getting two things where I'm getting like the King of Swords could be somebody that expects something in return. Um, don't, if, if somebody expects something in return, then don't ask them for help because that's not help. Um, it doesn't have to be financial. This could be just support, a, 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 um, an ear to listen, you know, that, that type of things. But don't... Um, Perhaps this is your calling because you are such a good listener. At the end of the day, we've got the Seven of Swords in the past and it's, it's mediation, it's resolution. So maybe you have an unbelievable ability to um, to calm situations, to be, um, you know, it could be like a marriage counsellor or um, um, something like that. Maybe this is what you teach. This is Maybe this is your path. But just because you're a helper doesn't mean you don't need help on occasion. So whatever it is, whatever situation you're in, whatever, even if it feels like a drama, don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, your spirit guides will guide you to who you need to ask for. And if you feel like somebody needs to um, um, get something in return from you, then, uh, you know, pull your energy away from that. Okay. But other than that, you have the strength and the courage and the ability to uh, overcome whatever this is. Um, so I'm not worried. Okay, uh, in your extended, we'll just focus on this a little bit more. We'll just do a nine card spread, past, present, future. We'll look at the positives and negatives to watch out for as well as your next steps. Uh, if you can join me, fantastic. If this is where you leave me, um, you've got this. Like I said, don't don't be afraid to ask for help. And if, if you're going through like a transition of worrying that your manifestations aren't coming fast enough possibly because this is slow progress with the hermit just know it's the astrological weather and everything will sort itself out by the time we get to virgo season you're going to start feeling easier um and by the time end of well by the by the time scorpio season your birthday season most of the retrogrades uh, pluto and uh and and, Sag and uh, saturn are um are done so you'll think things will move much more smoothly Okay, who have we got? We have Venus in Cancer, we have Virgo, we have Moon in Taurus, we have Leo, Libra, Scorpio, Libra, Sun in Scorpio, Gemini, Gemini, Virgo, Venus in Aries. But we've got Pentacles, Cups, Swords and Wands. Everybody's here, those are your standouts. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.